Mr. Mehta, a lot of the book is very scathing, which I think is going to evoke very strong reactions from your ex-party, if I want to call that, is on Rahul Gandhi. You know, I remember he particularly seems to be upset about the 2013 tearing of ordinance. And he says he's showing all the arrogance of the Gandhi, Nehru lineage minus their political acumen. In your conversations with him, was this something which come up very often because you were in active politics and Rahul Gandhi was very much around? Firstly, by the way, Rahul never actually physically tore the uh, yeah, ordinance, but he said that it should be uh, torn and thrown away, but he did not physically uh, tear it off. Of course, I was the one you know, who broke the news to my father and he was angry. I think you know you probably have also you know faced his anger yeah, a couple yeah. of times. <laughs> yes, so did. you 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 know that you know how angry he he could become. His face became red, and he started shouting that uh, you know how could he do that? Who is he to publicly trash a decision of the government? He is not part of the government. So who is he to do it? And how could he? And that time the prime minister was visiting abroad. Well, I think he was US. in America. He, he was in US. So he said, how could he even do that? You know, how could he? he was very, very angry. And then later also he wrote in his diary that uh, uh, this, uh, this gentleman has got uh, uh, every, uh, you know, arrogance of the Gandhi Nehru family without their political acumen. And he was definitely very upset about it. And I think from that time, you know, his faith in Rahul Gandhi started, you know, kind of being shaken a bit. And much late, later, you know, after 2014, when I was talking to him about the, he was explaining me that what are the different, uh, you know, causes of the debacle of Congress. So he put this as one of the reasons and he said, if the vice president of your party, that time he was a vice president, the vice president of party shows such public disdain for his own government, why should people vote for you? Mm. So as per him, this was one of the reasons, you know, why also. And it also showed that, you know, like, uh, uh, I mean, some degree of immaturity, though Rahul Gandhi, to credit to him, I think he later on admitted that it was not the, the right thing uh, for him to do. But in politics, but every I know Rahul matters. Gandhi would go and meet your father very often. Did at some point of time, uh, Pranam Bam would tell Rahul Gandhi that what you did then was wrong? Or did uh, he give him firstly, tips? Uh, firstly, you know, I don't think after becoming uh, uh, president, Rahul Gandhi didn't meet him very often. But yes, sometimes he would. Uh, I don't didn't find any reference uh, of in Baba's writing that you know he specifically raised this uh, issue uh, with Rahul, uh, but of course you know he asked advised him. He got some pr probably he got some feedback from the senior leaders of the party. Uh, there's th those who were not very happy about uh, Rahul's way of working. Some of them even complained that uh, Rahul was not giving them time. So perhaps, perhaps, you know, getting, because Baba did not write that based on the feedback of these leaders. So again, these are connecting the dots. But perhaps I felt that, you know, I mean, with the feedback of the party, what he got and also with his own political understanding. So he advised Rahul to have both, you know, new and old people in his team. He advised Rahul to uh, join the government so that, you know, he gained some first-hand experience of the governance. And... Um, I mean, he had hopes from Rahul because sometimes I remember once during uh, the, I think the land ordinance uh, 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 that, that, that time. So he wrote in his diary that Rahul made a very good speech and uh, high time he learns. It's been, I think, 10, 12 years by then. It's been 12 years uh, of his being in the parla parliament, but better late than never. So, but again, he would be very disappointed when, you know, with Rahul's uh, very frequent absence and uh, well, he, mentioned. Uh, he mentioned that. He mentioned that very specifically in his book and in particular context of, you know, there was one AICC program of uh, Congress celebrating its anniversary and it was immediately after 2014. And uh, that he wrote about that, that Rahul's absence from the flag hoisting ceremony uh, uh, during the AICC, uh, it's uh, it's very odd, and I don't know these kind of things are happening very frequently, and I don't know why he does it, but he's losing the battle of perception. Prada Mukherjee ki jo kitab nikli hai, uspe Sanjeevna Mukherjee ne kuch excerpts padhe, usme kaha gaya hai ki Rahul Gandhi mature hai, ab mature politician nahi hai, bale hi achhe insaan hai. मेरे प्रणवदास से 2009 में जब मैं एमपी बना 2017 तक जब वो राष्ट्रपति रहे तो मैंने औपचारिक अनौपचारिक प्रणवदास के साथ कम से कम 100 बार बातचीत की 
मेरा सौभाग्य है कि दो बार वो मेरी लोकसभा भी होकर आए दो हजार तेरह में और दो हजार सत्रह में और मैंने उनके साथ ट्रेवल भी किया और हमेशा मैंने पाया उनको राहुल गांधी से निराशा है वो समझते हैं वो कंसिस्टेंट नहीं है और वो किसी एक चीज पर अस्थिर नहीं रह सकता आज उनकी बेटी होने के नाते शर्मिष्ठा जी ने यह बात की है कांग्रेस के कार्यकर्ता है ये बड़ा सीरियस मामला है कांग्रेसियों को अपने पार्टी के नेतृत्व के बारे में सोचना चाहिए उनके सीनियर लीडर रहे जिनको उन्होंने राष्ट्रपति भी बनाया ऐसे प्रणब मुखर्जी जो अपनी डायरी लिखते रहे और उनकी बेटी ने उस किताब के रूप में लोगों के सामने लाए कि उनकी क्या सोच थी राहुल गांधी के प्रति प्रणब मुखर्जी ने अपनी किताब में माना है अपनी डायरी में कि एक एरोगेंट है इसके अंदर एरोगेंसी जो गांधी परिवार और नेहरू परिवार की लेग्निस से जो एरोगेंस चकड़ थी वही इसके अंदर थी और यह भी कहा कि यह बच्चा था और यह भी मानना कि ना समझ था और यह भी कहा कि इसकी क्या हैसियत थी क्या औकात थी किस हैसियत के अंदर इसने कैबिनेट से पास हुआ बिल को फाड़कर फेंक दिया और यही माना कि इसी के कारण यूपीए टू के अंदर ये आखिरी जो है कीर था उनके तबूज के अंदर ये बात कोई और नहीं कह रहा अपनी डायरी के अंदर प्रणब मुखर्जी लिख रहे हैं